Medium, couple of metres inside the rope. They rotate for a couple. Mm. Gill into double figures from just nine balls, none for 18. Yes, Daniel likes to give a running commentary on these matters. He does, yeah. Our WhatsApp group is an absolute show. <laughs> I've also done the, the, the Turkish variety. Oh. The, the, the Turkish baths, they call it, rather oh. than the sauna, where I think that basically they just beat the crap out of you. Yeah. It's, the, it's a really one, sort yeah. of physical experience when you're in there. Is it called a hamam from memory? Looking towards Phil, he's yeah. the cultured, yeah. cultured man of the three. Pretty sure it is, yeah. So you left in the over. They trail by 462. Green in, two slips, bowls here. Gil well forward. That bat looks huge at the moment from him. He's 10 from 10, down towards mid-off, no run. Yeah, I just gone to the sauna and the swimming pool. That's the closest I've come to a sauna. In the, in the North Adelaide Municipal Pool or something it's like pretty that. Pretty much, yeah, in Campbelltown. And thankfully, everybody keeps their clobber on there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? 0433981116. What spas have you gone to? Yeah, Which saunas you go. have you attended? Yeah. That time of the night in Australia where you start thinking about it's the saunas you've gone to. Fine. It's that kind of test match. <laughs> Other test matches, we never have time for this. There's too many wickets. Green bowls and Gill defends to end it. Productive over for India. Four runs coming from it. None for 18. They trail by, well, a long way. 462. With Gill on 10, Rowett on 7. And that's all on the Kia scoreboard. Working with your hands. Eating healthy. Going to bed early. All rewarding. But not as rewarding as a Kogan Money credit card. With 0% per annum for 14 months on eligible purchases, plus $500 Kogan.com credit to spend on the most in-demand products when you meet the minimum spend criteria. Use it anytime, anywhere. The Kogan Money credit card, it's just more rewarding. Head to Kogan.com to find out more. Spend criteria applies. Offer ends March 19, 2023. T's and C's, fees and charges apply. Credit provider, National Australia Bank Limited. It's a hot day in Ahmedabad. Which is why we're talking about, well, ice bars initially. Mm -hmm. That's where it started. I don't know how we ended up in no this, clobber territory. Well, this is the thing, right? We've had this test series where it's been all action yeah. from minute one. From that first day at Nagpur when there was rat poop falling out of the roof oh, into yeah. our commentary box 20 minutes before we went to air. From that point forward, it's been all action until yesterday. Mm. And every minute that was when Kawaja batted was just calm, peaceful, and the conversation can drift accordingly. Mitchell Stark... Now bowling to a 7-2 field. Into the captain, Rohit Sharma, over the wicket, delivers here, defended, out towards mid-off, right at the middle of the blade again. No run is the call. And all the research we've been doing on the various cities we've been to has all gone to waste. No. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I could have given you could have given you a half an hour lecture yeah. about what was going on in, in indoor. Yeah. We didn't even touch on it. No chance. The talking points in the bin. I remember the third ball of the of the match. I started talking about the history of indoor, and then we just said, "Okay, we'll just scan it." <laughs> <laughs> All part of the fun here in India. This is a far more placid surface. Stark bowling in the long sleeves. Rare as it is, up to the crease bowls here to row it. He tries to drive, doesn't quite get all of it out to mid off no run. So they're, they're skins, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, they look like long sleeves. I thought they were long sleeves as well. Well, well 10 of the 11 Australians, apart from Green, are wearing some kind of long sleeve, be it the skins or, or the actual long sleeves, and I'm sure that's a function of the yeah, heat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because of the heat. But in saying that, I've watched Mitch Stark, well, we all have, but I reckon I've seen most of his test matches yeah. around the world in the last decade, and um, I don't think I can recall him wearing Even the, these the skins. Even these innards, yeah. Yeah, the skins. Maybe at training, but never in a game. Mm. Of course, wearing a black armband as well. To mark the passing of Pat Cummins' mother, Maria, it was announced this morning. Row it. Seven from 15, facing Stark and drives him through the offside, but there is a man there for that shot. Nathan Lyon at deep backward point. Rowett loves opening the blade like that. He's mm. eight with the single, none for 19. Phil Long? Uh, no, I think he... he did he run, in, run into Mitchell Stark? Oh, I saw there. There was a slight come in together. Mm. Nothing too serious. Nothing too serious between those two. And when Rohit Sharma starts opening his feet up and both were looking at the ball, starts throwing his bat at slightly wide deliveries is generally a sign that... He trusts the pitch, trusts everything that's happening on the pitch. He's just trying to access that area in front of point. Gill's turn. He started really well. Stark to in here, defending forward conservatively. Really well played. None for 19 the score. We've got a couple of balls left in the fifth over. Baz? There's also a text which is coming from my favourite city, my hometown of Adelaide. <laughs> See, the one thing we know about people of Adelaide, 
Adam, is we have great taste. So Colin... You'll probably leave this one alone. No, no, we need to read this out. Colin says, I started listening to cricket on SEN because I love Jared Waitley. Commentating anything. Of course you would. I've discovered I have an equal favorite commentator. I could listen to Adam Collins all day! Exclamation mark. Your passion and knowledge about cricket is amazing. Keep up the great work. Great taste, Colin from Adelaide. That's very kind. You shouldn't have read that. Stark Bowles here off the back foot, punching <laughs> down towards middle on his gill. No run. One ball left in the fifth. Oh, that very kind of you, um, Colin. Uh, we're having a great time bringing this broadcast mm. to you. Um, I, I thought when we did the call out for text, it was strictly about saunas and spas, <laughs> but that's okay. That's right. Maybe Colin's sitting in a sauna right now. He might and be. He thought of that. Yeah, you go. Might be. It's a real sign of decadence when you've got a house that's big enough to put, a, <laughs> put your own sauna in. So Stark, there's an extra man out on the leg side. So there's a, a fine leg, deep square leg, mid on, mid off, cover. Deep backward point, two slips and a gully. Arrives here, bowls and leaving alone outside the line of the off stump is Gill watching it all the way into Carey's gloves. So five overs gone, which means there are five left on this second day. None for 19 India on the Kia scoreboard. I doubt we'll see spin before the close of play, so I can acknowledge that the spinner of the series is thanks to Lumo Energy. Switch to Lumo Energy and Ashwin pulling ahead in mm. Asia. Those remarkable figures, 47.2 overs, 6 for 91. I tell a lie, we are going to see yeah, spin. It is, yeah. It's going to be Nathan Gaddy Lyon taking up the attack from the northern end, our broadcast end. Of course, the last time he bowled for Australia, a couple of weeks ago, he finished up with the quite extraordinary figures of 8 for 64 from 21 and a half overs to win Australia a test match. It's amazing, right? So when he did that, it was pretty much around this time on day two, and he finished off India's second innings, the third mm. innings of the match. Here he's getting his first ball. And it's the second innings of the match. It's quite something how yes. things so, have turned around. So there were 30 wickets in two days. Well, by half past four on day two, <laughs> it's half past four now. We're into overtime and we've had, well, we've had 10 here. So that, that tells the story of how these two test matches have been radically different. Uh, I've got something for you that will get some people excited. Some people think it's just ridiculous and sad, but it'll get us excited. <laughs> uh, Nathan Lyon. He's bowled 998 maidens in Test cricket. Ooh. <laughs> we talked about nether regions before, Phil. Oh, yes. Oh, as a fellow Stato. The only stuff two it's... Australians to have bowled 1,000 of the big two, Warren and McGrath. So he, he joined that club if he can bowl two maidens. I mean, if he bowls two maidens tonight, I'll just leave the room. <laughs> I'll leave you two to end. <laughs> Nathan Lyon, another little stat for you here. He's average away from home has gone under his average at home in the last test that he played. 30.7 in away test matches. It was typically the other way around. Line around the wicket. First ball beats the edge of Rohit Sharma. That went across him. That didn't turn at all. Must have hit the shiny side. Looking for a replay here for Beaumont Tiles. Here it is from TV. Talk us through it, Baz. Yeah, pretty quick ball as well. 92.3 from Nathan Ooh, yeah. Lyon. Oh, and some bounce as well. Oh, he would love that. Nathan Lyon just looking very happy after that first delivery. He would really appreciate the bounce. He's got 53 wickets at 26 in India. Bowls again here, back foot, catches the call, but it finds a gap. Rowan on the back foot, carving away. Wasn't far away from Coombe at a backward point. But Rowan strikes a boundary for Blunston, takes India to number 23. He joins Gill in double figures, Rowan 12. Yeah, Rowan Sharma, it's similar pitches that he destroys teams in white ball cricket, especially at home, and he's also got a lot of runs as an opener in test cricket on home soils. Dangerous batter, very difficult batter to bowl to. He used to be that Which remarkable is... disparity in his batting average mm. home and away, wasn't it? He averaged 80 at home and 20 away, but those numbers have come closer together in, in recent times. 100, of course, at Nagpur to start the series. Rowett deflecting into the man at short leg. No run, hands come under the lid. What's a different experience on Nathan Lyon? When was the last time he had a total like 480 to bowl at? And he's still clutching that right arm of his. Yes. So that was the sweep shot from the league before show, mm. wasn't it? I think it was Akshar bowling at the time. His long stay at the crease, 96 balls earlier today. Line bowls and forward and outside edge, well taken by Smith. That would have been at least a couple of runs. The acting captain, away to his right, dragging it in. Great fielding. Really good. And also his... how alert he was. He anticipated where that ball was going, anticipated the outside edge, just didn't go to or went to ground before it got to him. 
Rowett faces line round the wicket again, gets well forward and defends. So Rowett at home, average of 68. Mm. And opening the batting, an average of 53. Lovely numbers. Lovely numbers indeed. To think how long it took him to sort of establish himself. A few years ago, he was hacking around at number six, barely getting a game. Oh, yeah, there was also this talk, does Rohit Sharma want to play test? Yeah. He had to come out and say, yes, I do. Last ball of lines, first over. Into Rohit again on leg stump, turned into the gap at mid-wicket. They'll get one to Labashain. Rohit retains the strike, he's 13, none for 24 after six overs, leaving India 456 behind. If they can get through the stumps without losing a wicket, it'll be a nice foundation to build on on morning three. Yeah, it will be, and... Uh... They would have seen how the Australians went on this pitch. Usman Khawaja showed a lot of patience. But it doesn't mean that you can't score quickly. And India will, will maintain a very, very strong run rate. It'll be up to Australia how they can hold them back. India did it well in patches. Yesterday and today, they never let Australia run away with the game. They would be a little disappointed with the... We thought Murphy and Nathan Lyon were allowed to score a few runs, but by then the bowlers were tired. It's like Matthew Kuhneman, mm. who has been warming up for a while, gets his goal. He's so impressive in that first innings in indoor. He's going to get a chance with four overs left in the day. Spin at both ends for Lumo Energy. Switch to Lumo Energy. Looking for one big moment for Australia. Put your foot down with confidence for Bendix breaks. Our big moments through the series. Kuhneman. Nice numbers to start his career. Eight wickets at 23, including a bag of five. Five for 16 at indoor last week. In the first innings, delivering here to Rohit Sharma on leg stump. Turned into Hanscom at short leg. Spills away to mid-wicket. No run. Yeah, the one thing Kuhneman did first innings was he changed the pace beautifully. Adjusted to the pitch. It's a very different kind of pitch that both him and Todd Murphy will mm. have to bowl on. They have been they bowled superbly, but they've also been fortunate at the wickets that they've got. Kuhneman in, left arm round to row it. He lunges forward, gets a quickish shingle to mid-off. They're through pretty easily in the end. None for 25. He's 14. I saw Mitch Swepson coming out to deliver a towel to Mitch Stark mm. at the end of his spell. I think between test matches, one of Kuhneman or, or Swepson might have to move states. Mm, yeah, now, now that... Especially sometimes, hey. some of the pitches you get in Queensland when you have Michael Nisa, our man, Stekety. Yeah, they've, they've taken 77 shield wickets between them this season. Going back here is Gill, right back on the stumps, not far from sneaking through. Good probing delivery there early in the spell from, from Kuhneman. So, yeah, Nisa's got 40 wickets, Stekety 37. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you prepare your pitches accordingly. That's kept a little bit low as well, watching the replay back for Beaumont Tiles. Yeah, and it's not just those two, Xavier Bartlett. Yep come along, he's part of the Australia A squad, I've seen quite yep. a bit of him, so even when one of the spinners play, they don't get a lot of ball, especially in the early season games. Slip and a short leg, Kuhneman bowls, and again coming forward is Gill to defend, yeah well it, it, it probably means just this, that, that Swepson who's been their primary spinner, Kuhneman not in the side mm. at the start of the Shield season, didn't have a lot of red ball cricket under his belt yeah. coming over here, one of them to keep playing Shield cricket might have to look elsewhere next season, I wonder. Kuhneman again. Getting forward, Gill pushing out towards mid on no single. Ringing Jason Gillespie, maybe? I mean, they have Ben Manetti, <laughs> who's made a, quite an impression this season. Yeah. They have yeah. struggled for a while to get that spinner. Lloyd Pope was the big hope. Of course. Last ball of Kuhneman's first over. From the southern end, towards us, towards Gill. Bowls here, and Gill gets forward again, pushing into the onside, into the over. Just a single coming from it. We'll have a change in commentary after the break. Daniel Norcross replacing me, taking us through to stumps. India, none for 25. Gill 10, row at 14. They trail by 455. So my boy Adam, he come home with all these bags of shopping. I said, what are you, millionaire? He says it was good bargain. Good bargain? Kogan Mobile prepaid plan is bargain. Unlimited talk, text, and 10 gigs of data for $15 a month. My boy wouldn't know bargain if it called him on phone and said, Hello, I am bargain. Talk about a bargain. Get one at koganmobile.com.au. Decency supply. Test on SEN. It's the last three overs <laughs> of the second day of the final test. I'm Daniel Norcross, Barrett Sandrason, mm. and Phil Long with us. And Nathan Lyon is going to bowl the anti-penultimate over. Right arm around the wicket, forward comes Rohit defending the offside. Carey just 
chopped around a couple of yards to pick up. We yes. mentioned Nathan Lyon's number of maidens he bowled for Australia. He's also taken 53 wickets in India. Needs right. one more to equal the best by an overseas bowler in India. 54, Derek Underwood. Mm. Derek Underwood. Mm. Yeah. Line in, forward in defence comes right. Plays back to the bowler again. There is no run. It's going to be hard to prize wickets out on this pitch, yep. you would imagine. But by the same token, he's, he's going to bowl a lot of overs. He will, but he has good support in Murphy and Kuderman, so he wouldn't mind that. Line in. Oh. Again, forward in defence. Comes Rohit, pushes out to the offside. Interesting to see the speeds at which Nathan Lyon has started. He's been quicker than usual. You saw R. Ashwin slow his pace down considerably today, especially in the second session when he started getting all those wickets. Forward short leg and slip in place. Oh. And he uses his feet, does Rohit. It's perilous, but gets the pitch of the ball and works it up to long on where Usman Khawaja, who has been stationed much of the time, except very briefly when he was at short mid-wicket and pulled off one of the most remarkable catches you'll ever yeah. see. And straight after taking that catch, he's, oh, <laughs> so you weren't supposed to be there, or is he? Off you go. <laughs> Strange moment in this series. Line in. And Gill forward. Defence back to the bowler. No run. We've seen that shot many times. Mm. Played by some very accomplished batters in this match. And on, for 26 to score a moment. Shubman Gill would want beginnings at home. He's not got a test standard on home soil. He'd want to make that promise, fulfill that promise. Line completes the over with a slightly back of a length delivery, which is pushed into the covers. Fielded comfortably enough by Kudman. There is no run. Eight overs gone. None for 26. Two overs remain in the day. Byron Sunder Racing and Adam Collins are going to go down and get you some golden, golden, golden content. Hopefully, hopefully, Usman Kwajo, who today batted for over 10 hours, the longest innings ever by an Australian in India. Listen to the and, podcast afterwards. And do listen to the podcast afterwards, where highlights. we'll hopefully be hearing him. There'll be highlights, there'll be interviews, there'll be just content galore. It's what we do here at SEN Cricket. We never sleep. Well, that's not strictly speaking true. I got four or five hours last night, but um, it's, it was fitful stuff after I'd listened to the podcast and replayed the highlights. So, Phil, it's just you and me. They've left, left the English in charge of the yeah. asylum once more. <laughs> we could do anything, you know. What so are dangerous. they thinking? Well, they're very trusting, aren't they? And I wouldn't say that the, the British have got a particularly good track record of being left in charge of stuff. <laughs> very true. <laughs> we're right. not rushing to get these overs in, are we here? No, we're not rushing. Um, I don't know what the breaking play is for. Have you any idea? There's just some standing around and meandering taking place. There's a bit of teapotting. Are they waiting for a helmet, perhaps? It could be. It's a long way down those steps. It could be a second helmet. There are 90-something steps. They're famously 39 to Wembley, because the late, great commentator John Motson came out with one of the cheesiest lines known to mankind in the 1977 FA Cup final when Martin Buchan was the Manchester United captain of the side that beat Liverpool that day 2-1. As we do await the arrival of this helmet, it's making its way more slowly than the Olympic torch down these 92 steps so 39 at Wembley and he said how appropriate that a man called Buchan should climb the 39 steps to collect the trophy and uh, never has a commentary line been more prepared in advance <laughs> and uh, a man with a yellow an orange tabard I didn't quite see which substitute Australian fielder that was has come, he's brought the helmet and now he's making his way back. So that's just two minutes of our lives we're never going to get back. And has to go back up the steps, which is well, that's hard, hard bit. work. You'd think they'd make a travelator for it, or at least a, at least a, a moderately quick-moving escalator. A little design flaw, perhaps. Kuhneman, left arm, round the wicket. It's going to start the banana bit over of the day, and the first ball is pushed in defence back to Rohit Sharma. And these two are doing a good job for their team. I've got to say, these are not testing conditions to bat. And Australia will be hoping on, then, that the pitch starts to deteriorate because it could be a long old day tomorrow if not. I wonder if in an ideal world they'd have to have bats sort of lunch tomorrow. Have they had the big batters in as this next delivery is pushed 
off the back foot out to backward point for a single. They might have, I don't know. It's hard to tell because you've got to find time to take those 20 wickets and no one wants to be enforcing a follow on in 34 degree on heat on a flat deck. But we're assured that the pitch is going to do something at some point. But just so far, it hasn't really. And there's a little bit of. I think this might be. Is this the first time screen. today we've had yeah. a sight screen issue? Yeah. yeah. I think it's our first sight screen snafu, as Gideon Haig would say. There is a bit of movement. None for 27 with that single. Rohit to 16. Gill back on strike with a silly point. Forward short leg and a slip, crowding him. Kuna went up just three or four paces in. Gone scrumps as he delivers a full ball, which is pushed up to mid on. And there's no run. He is a grunter. Sorry, Phil, you're about to... I was about to say, yeah, if you were one of the mid Indian middle order, you would be looking forward to tomorrow, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. You would think. There's Payback. runs there, yeah. Kuna went in, as you can tell from the grunt. And it's pushed into the offside, fielded by Travis Head, who moves quite nimbly. A mustachioed head to his left prevents the run. Yeah, it's... You've had, you've had, had your ice bath. Come on, lads. You've had early, early dinner. You had a long old sleep, and then you say, "Yeah, if you're Virat Kohli, this is where I'm getting my hundred in this match." The one I've been waiting for for youngsters. The ball's turned into the onside to the right of mid on by Gill. Gets a single, moves to 11, none for 28. But you know, if you told me that Australia were going to score 480 odd and going to bat for 170 odd, 167.2 overs, I'd have thought that Marnus Lamashane and Steve Smith might have scored more than 41 between them. It wasn't them that did it. Kuhneman round the wicket to Rohit, who defends a full ball. And it's patted back from uh, from short, from silly point, back to the wicket. And there's no run. Kuhneman's second over complete. He's gone for three. One more over left in the day's play. So a wicket four. So whoever was padded up as night watcher, if they had one, can now stand down. He can take those pads off. Because a wicket will bring the close of play. Otherwise, we have six more balls of today to get through. And then another three 90 over days for somehow Australia, either Australia to manufacture 20 wickets or just as possibly if the pitch does break up on late day four or five. India's tactic here, Phil, presumably is bat, bat long. That long, and then what did what did you call somebody had the name for the third inning? The pickle theory, the Johnny Barron pickle theory. Then that might come into play on that fifth day, yeah. Well, it really might, because Australia will be wanting to force a result. It'd be hard to do. But if India get up close or go beyond even, then who knows what pressure they could put on on that last day. Two slips in place now for the last over of the day. Lion is in, and Gill defence stoutly on the front foot and stride in. Place it back to the bowler. There is no run. And a Nathan Lyon maiden here would leave, leave us beautifully with him on 999. Oh, be still my beating heart. <laughs> Lyon in. Well, he's not going to get it because Stubman Gill has danced down a wicket and he's in it for six. Wow, what a shot that is. What bravery in the last over of the day. And the way he got out in, uh, in indoor as well. Absolutely. He trusts his pitch. But he's come hurtling down the wicket. Two steps. Right out of the middle of the bat. Ball landed on a roundabout off stump. And he's hit it over a straight long arm. That was no hoik. And we've lost the ball. And we've lost the ball. People pointing down here where it might be. I think it's in well, front it's, of us. It's bounced off the covers. And so Usman Khawaja is saying it's just... I can see it. It's over there somewhere. People in the crowd are pointing. Yeah. Now Usman's... Usman's speaking to the crowd and he's directing them to where he believes the ball is he thinks he can see it they're, they're disputing this and now the army's got involved <laughs> yep the army's got involved there's a man with a beret and a, and a grey shirt and, and he's got all important accreditation there's lots of people pointing but a lot in different directions they are I think this might require the commandos I think this is the regular army is not equal to this task now a man's going under a cover here I can see a man in a blue shirt he's being made to to ferret and burrow around. Where? Which way? Left? Right? Don't know. He's been given instruction. Now, no, no. You're being, he's been pointed elsewhere. 
And now there's a whole load of people yes. on this task now. This is fantastic stuff. And we've got a close-up view of this. This is We've got the truly, best view in the house. Really, truly wonderful. I'd say there's around 50 people on this. The, uh, the regular army's involved. The SAS I've yet to see. It, it might need a troop of crack to commandos, maybe a SWAT team. Now the TV cameras are focused in on it, so people aren't now pointing where the ball is. They're now waving at the uh, at the cameras. So it be- oh it oh it went through this gap, this tiny gap in the cover. What's the chances of that happening, Shubman Gill? Threading the eye of a needle that was to get the ball into this tiny gap in the oh, covers, yeah. and now it's like. Well, it's, it's like a whole lot of people under, under the most enormous duvet you've ever seen. Meanwhile, rummaging the, around. The umpires have lost patience. They've grabbed a new ball. Yeah, they're not interested in this ball anymore. They feel it's not worth it. There are some people who are really just not helping at all. As you often get in human behavior, you get those who are keen to help, you get those who are directing, and you get those who are just watching and mocking and laughing. And I guess that's us, really. I always remember when we played cricket in our garden, if a ball went in the hedge, we would always find another ball, not yeah. the ball we'd lost, yeah. which would be amazing. Hey? The ball you'd previously <laughs> lost, yeah, yeah, well, that would be extraordinary. Um, Richard Kettle was desperate for a spot of tea, so he's trying to find another ball from a box of balls that's been brought out to him. Meanwhile, the army is just, they've, 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 they've given up. An incredible achievement to lose a cricket ah. ball in the world's biggest, most populous cricket ground. Yes, especially when it was so close to so many people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm loving this. I might have to dismantle the whole stadium. Oh, I think so. Now there's there are conflicting conflicting arm waves. The uh, man with there is a man with a beret here. He's very much. I was going to say in control. He's I think self-appointed got control. That. Do you? And do you think that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, somebody's waving. Yeah. And saying, I found it. No, oh, well, well, he's half in and half out the bed, so to speak. So he's, he's up, he's basically up to his waist in cover. And slightly dubious looking fellow. Not sure I'd entirely trust him, but. Nathan uh, Lyon has got a ball in his hand, I think. Whether it's the original ball, who I knows? I don't think it's the original. Shubman Gill is now the least popular man. In, in, he's not getting a Christmas card from Richard Kettlebury, that's for sure. Now the umpires are saying, stop so climbing, it. Stop climbing under the... Yeah, because now they're, now now they're climbing all over the... Now they're climbing all over the side. So <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, that's it! There it is! Oh, my word! What an effort that is! Oh, he's holding it And a man in a white T-shirt... And he looks like an Australian fan, and in throwing the ball, he's actually fallen over backwards. And he's hurled it back onto the outfield to Cameron Green, which is now being passed to Richard Kettlebrook. And the most <laughs> wonderful waste of five minutes. That was far more fun than waiting for the uh, the helmet, I've got to tell you. Well, so let's have more of that. Oh. I mean, that was like cricket max, that was. Do you remember the old game? Yes. You'd like, 12 runs. 12 <laughs> runs, if you could get it in the tiny hole in the side screen. <laughs> So, well, who knows whether they're now going to use the original ball or not. And Kettles has said, just get on with yeah. it. He's desperate to get home. <laughs> Four balls left in the day, lying in to Shubman Gill. We've all forgotten that he'd hit it for six, quite spectacular. And he turns the next delivery to short square leg for a single. And I think Kettle was had a word with him and said, son, do that again. You get hit on the pads and you're out, right? <laughs> and still. Kettle, Kettle, get out of the way. <laughs> Because the ball, see, the ball went on the side screen, didn't it? Mm-hmm. So now there's people sort of on the side screen. and well, lads. Oh, they've set up. what's been used as a side screen. That's right. They've set up a whole new, whole new spectator's gallery, actually on the side screen. Lion into Rohit, who comes forward in defence. His concentration will not be broken. Well, I did wonder what He's Rohit, as captain, thought of that shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, possibly heart in mouth stuff for a moment as he came hurtling down the wicket. Gill, by the way, moved to 18. He moved to 17 with the six. Is that the first six of the match? I think it could be. I need to flip back. It's a good point. Lying in, pushed into the offside, and a big gap between mid off. It goes to sort of extra cover region, and uh, they drop through for a single. We've got one ball left to go. I strongly suspect that we have seen the first six of the match. At the most extraordinary moment. Uh, yes. Yep. First six of the match. In the oh, last over guys. of the day. 
<laughs> did, did Desmond try not to lose a wicket? Or at least we, so we thought. Bit of fastball there. Lion in. Defended back to the bowler. And that is the end of the day's play. Long old day, that one. Finishing at local time, 4.54. With uh, six minutes left. But much of that was taken up getting helmets and trying to find balls. And India close it on none for 36. They are in deficit to the tune of 444 runs. Australia not able to take a wicket in that little 10-over spell. Rohit Sharma unbeaten on 17. Gill unbeaten on 18. And what a day it's been. Just six wickets have fallen. All six wickets.